So is there a chance of a sell the news, Brenda? So if you get a trade deal, uh, I mean, who co it could come sooner than we even think. Dow's up nearly 200 points as we speak. Do we get that ultimate deal with the Chinese, and then is it a sell moment or is it a move higher moment? I think it's entirely possible that it is a sell moment. I mean, there's a lot of hopefulness baked into the market at this point, and I think we need more than a trade deal to get things moving materially higher from current levels. I think we need confirmation that earnings are too low for 2019. And I think a trade deal coming through may not do the trick. I think we also need global growth to stabilize and to be supportive and to have, an, you know, currency is another issue we haven't talked about. The dollar has been pretty strong. If we do get global growth uh, uh, returning or stabilizing, that should put some pressure on the dollar, and that would be a positive also for corporate earnings for those companies that have exposure overseas. Jim, trade deal, Fed pivot, those are two major things that are on your side as an investor. Yeah. Is that enough to continue to take this market higher, new highs in um, the offing because of that? I think those two things are already in the market. However, so that's the bad news. And you may well get a little sell off three, four percent uh, when you get a China deal, because that's been look at this point in time, the market has anticipated that. What I don't think the market is anticipating, though, is after those two things, you've got the EU. And if you could get if you could get a resolution of the trade issues with the EU, that sets you up for a nice leg higher. So I have to think that our presidential administration, uh, uh, Mr. Juncker of the EC, understand how bad things are uh, in Europe and how that can impact impact uh, profits for U.S. companies they're, as well. They're threatening a, a caterpillar I know. I know. That, well, that's what, and, and that's what they should be doing, right? That's what they should be doing. They're being threatened with auto tariffs. They shouldn't roll over. They should threaten back. But that's exactly why this tariff game of this tit-for-tat tariffs is a bad idea. All it does is freeze everybody in place. What are we supposed to do with Caterpillar now? That's bad for investors. Take the tariffs off the table, and you're set for a nice leg higher from here. Yeah.